Hey guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog, and today I'm going to show you how to mix up magnesium for a saltwater aquarium. Now, the first question is, why would you want to mix up your own magnesium when you can just buy branded stuff off the shelf from your local fish shop? Well, quite simply, it comes down to money, and mixing magnesium yourself will save you an absolute fortune, especially in some circumstances. For example, I've just tested the magnesium level uh, a couple of days ago on my K tank, and it came in at 1,000 parts per million, which is way below the 1,350 parts per million that I want it to be. The last time I had a similar result to that on a different tank, it cost me 90 pounds, and I got through three bottles of branded magnesium to get it back up to the right level. So rather than spending 100 quid with off the shelf stuff, I'm gonna achieve the exact same result, spending just six pounds. Now this is a really easy process, and there are only three things you'll need. One is, a food safe container. I am using this five litre camping jerry can. The second is RODI water and I mix this stuff up myself using my own RODI filter but if you don't have your own RODI filter you can just buy RODI water from your local fish shop but it does have to be RODI water not tap water. And the last thing you'll need is magnesium chloride hexahydrate. Now I buy this stuff from Intralabs in the UK. I'll leave a link in the description. It's just an eBay link, it's not an affiliate link. Um, but you can get it from various places in uh, different countries. So if that link doesn't work, just Google magnesium chloride hexahydrate and try to find out ideally from a local forum where people in your area get that stuff from. Now I'm gonna be mixing up five liters of this stuff today for two reasons. One, because it's useful to have a reasonable amount stored in case you need it again. And two, because it is surprising just how much magnesium you need to add to a tank to get the levels up by 350 parts per million, which is what I want to do in this case. But you can of course follow the exact same recipe if you want to make more or less. So if you want to make two and a half liters instead of five liters, just use half the amount of water and half the amount of magnesium. All right, so without further ado then, let's go and check out the process. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna be using a bucket to mix it up so you can see what's going on. But ordinarily, I'd just use the five liter container and mix it all up in there. Step one then is to add water to the container. Now while I'm aiming to mix up five liters today, I can't just pour five liters of water in because when I add the magnesium flakes, that will of course increase it beyond five liters. So I've added roughly three liters of water to this bucket to which I will then add the magnesium flakes and then I'll top up the rest with RADR water again to hit the five litre mark. So with about three litres of water in there, I can start adding the magnesium flakes. There really is no magic to this. So if you've ever mixed something in with water before, you already know how to do this. So all you need to do is just whack it in the bucket. Now this is your standard issue B&Q 99p measuring bucket. So it has litre marks on the side and I can never see those marks unless I shine my mobile phone light on there. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just simply adding a little bit of extra water to bring it up to five litres, which is what I've done there. So now the total solution is five litres and all that's left to do is mix it. Again, there's no magic to it and you just need to stir it around a little bit. And if I was doing this normally, I'd just put it in the container, put the lid on the container and give it a good old shake. All right, so now we've had a bit of a mix there. We're going to leave it for 10 minutes and then come back. And here we are a few minutes later, literally 10 minutes is all I left this. I haven't touched it and as you can see, it is completely and utterly clear and perfectly mixed. So you don't need a power head, you don't need to stir it like crazy, just give it a little bit of a stir and then leave it. And that is basically it. Your magnesium is ready straight away. You don't have to leave it 24 hours to settle. You don't even have to leave it an hour to settle. You can just start dosing it straight away. Now, because it's such an easy process, there really isn't much else to say. I will put links to the magnesium I buy, the magnesium flakes, and to the water container that I use in the description below. But if you've got any questions or if I've missed anything, let me know downstairs. And if you enjoyed the video, as always, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next time. And until then, happy reefing.